Hey guys, this is Kevin and Sarah Shabbat, and uh, I'm going to go into the differences of these machines right here. Uh, these are Kangen Water Ionizers from the amazing international company and certified medical manufacturer, Enagic. Um, and the SD501 is right here to your right, and the K8's right over here to your left. And what are the differences between the machines? Well, I'll tell you what they do have in common. They're both water ionizers, obviously, right? Um, and they do and they actually both produce all seven water options. Okay, and just to show you right here, there's your Kangen water options, all three of them, your 8.5, 9.0, and 9.5 Kangen water options. Then you have your clean water, 7.0, you have your beauty water, which is the 6.0, and then you have your 2.5 strong acidic down there. And when you, push, when you press that button, it's not indicated here, the 11.5 water comes out the top hose, okay? This machine right here produces the same exact waters, okay? It's a little bit more expensive, but um, why would we get the K or the SD501? Honestly, it's just preference. Um, you'll be happy with either one, I'm not going to lie. Um, but the K does have one extra plate, okay? So that will produce more molecular hydrogen, which is the world's most powerful non-plant-based antioxidant. Um, and so if you're, you know, th these are the properties in the water that make it incredibly special is the molecular hydrogen, which produces, which is the antioxidants. So, um, a couple of other differences. Well, this one has color on it. Okay. This one's just nice and white, plain Jane. I like it. I don't know. I love them both. I really don't know which one I like better. Um, this one has a touch screen, really cool, snazzy LCD touch screen. And this one doesn't, it's just buttons. So to me, not a big deal. Uh, I got the K8 because I just had to have it. I don't know, I love it. Um, there's nothing wrong with these machines. They're both amazing. Again, you're gonna be happy with any machine you get. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend getting any machine under an SD501, because then now you're talking about three plates, okay? And this is why these machines are the two best machines in the company. Um, also, there's a couple of other things. The K8 has a filter check indicator. It has a universal transformer, so if you travel the world, um, you know, go to Japan, China, or Europe, um, you're not going to have problems with the plugs. You know, it has a universal transformer. You can just get an adapter, plug it into the machine, plug it into any outlet in the world, and you're good to go. Uh, with this one, this one has a fixed transformer, but again, you know, you can still travel the world with it. Just get an adapter to put on there, and you're good to go. Um, a couple of things I'm probably not mentioning, but you know, all in all, these machines are just phenomenal. Um, they, they will last you forever. Um, they're not going to go anywhere. You never have to replace anything. You never have to replace plates or anything in there. These machines have a self-cleaning, self-flushing mechanism in them. So, you know, they actually flush and clean themselves. And uh, we're the only water ionizers in the world that actually has an e-cleaning uh, thing that that is recommended you do once a month and it keeps your machine in brand new tip-top condition for the rest of your life um, So yeah, that's pretty much the You know the the differences in these machines. There's not really much else out there uh, The filter in these machines right here if you take off this little side There's a filter in there and then there's a filter on this side uh, They both have a 1500 gallon capacity So depending on how much you and your you know, let's say a family of five or even a family of seven uh, continuous water use. Uh, it takes anywhere up to anywhere from six months to a year depending on how much water you're using. A typical family, family of three, it takes anywhere from honestly around like 10 months to about a year. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's amazing. So these things are incredible. This is the SD501. It has seven plates. This one's the K8. It has eight plates. I really don't know which one I like better. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the K8 just because this is the one that, you know, it's in our kitchen now, it's hooked up, it's ready to go, we love it, it's simple. Oh yeah, there's one thing I did not mention. This does not have an off and on, like we have over here. The power button, okay? This one turns off and on on its own, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in fact, you don't even need to press any buttons. As soon as you flip the water or divert the water into the machine, the machine will actually come on on its own. Um, has a lot of cool settings on there, a lot of different modifications you could do. So you just have a little bit more freedom to, you know, with the K8 than you do with the SD501. But in all, in all honesty, guys, um, you're going to love either one, and it really doesn't make a difference. But, you know, once again, here's the K8. This is the latest and greatest. 
40 year uh, anniversary the company came out with this machine and this one is the tried and true uh, the proven workhorse the SD501 honestly they're both identical twins but with a couple of different characteristics so um, hope you guys have a great night and uh, yeah that's the differences between these machines <laughs>